Hello Matadistas and thanks for joining us on today's interesting episode as we talk you through some very important updates at Real Madrid. Kickstarting on today's agenda, Daniel Carvajal offers advice to Adal Goulet after injury set back. We are going to be talking you through that on this episode and shortly after that we will quickly turn our attention elsewhere as Real Madrid linked forward Marcos Leonardo who plies his trade for Santos, could be leaving the club in January transfer window. We are also going to be bringing you details on that in this episode, so please stay tuned right up to the end. Do not forget to like and subscribe to this channel so you do not miss on our next update. Daniel Cavaja has offered advice to Real Madrid at Agule after the young star suffered yet another injury setback. Madrid fended off interest from Barcelona to secure the services of 18-year-old Goulet from Fenerbahce during the summer for a reported 20 million euros. While much was expected for the highly gifted creative midfielder, Goulet is yet to make his debut for his new club due to a myriad of injury concerns. Goulet's first injury occurred during a pre-season trip to the United States with a meniscus rupture suffered in training eventually requiring surgery just after being given the green light to return to action. Goulet suffered a tight strain in September which kept him out of action for a month. Then once again when expected to finally make his debut the attacking midfielder was struck down by another muscle injury, one which will see him miss one month of action. Following a frustrating start to the first few months at the Santiago Bernabeu, manager Carlo Ancelotti admitted that Goulet had been left frustrated by his recent bad luck. It is normal that a player is affected. He is new here. He wants to contribute to the team, the Madrid boss said. With an injured player, it's very, it's always very difficult. You are here at Madrid training ground, your teammate train and play and you don't. His sadness and anger is quite normal. There is no hurry. Ada Goulet's future is here and he will do well. He also He's, he has also an extraordinary talent. Veteran fullback Daniel Carvajal, speaking to El Paez, has also been keen to reassure Goulet, revealing advice he is giving to him following his recent setback. I have approached him to encourage him, Carvajal said. I told him to be calm, that this is a process, that sometimes the body has to adapt and to do everything in his power to come back stronger. I spoke from experience. I told him, you are not alone. You are not the only one this has happened to. Cavaja has also endured numerous spells of sidelines during his time at Real Madrid, missing a whooping 158 games for both club and country due to various injury concerns. Recently, missing two games in September thanks to a muscle strain. So having concluded with that, we are going to quickly turn our attention elsewhere as Real Madrid linked forward, set to leave current club in January, asking price expected to be 20 million euros. Real Madrid have always kept keen eye on the Brazilian transfer market. They have had great success in it before, signing Vinicius and Rodrigo directly from Flamengo and Santos respectively, and they hope that Hendrik will perform similarly when he arrives from Palmares next season. Real Madrid could look to the market in Brazil again, this time as early as January. They have been linked with Santos forward Marcos Leonardo in recent weeks. Although the 20-year-old has also attracted interest from the likes of Sevilla, 
Newcastle United and West Ham. With Vinicius Jr. who is now injured for the next month at least, Rodrigo and Joselu as their only attacking options, Real Madrid may look to sign Leonardo in January and Fabrizio Romano has told cut offside that he is highly expected to leave Santos during the winter transfer market. He will leave Santos in January and the price could be around 20 million euros but it is a complicated package that could include add-on percentage of future sale etc. Roma wanted him in August but they had three bid rejected and now it is a very open race. It remains to be seen whether Real Madrid do decide to push ahead for Leonardo. They can certainly afford it but clubs, officials may decide that another attacker is not needed especially with Hendrik on his way. So having concluded with that, we have come to the end of today's interesting episode. Thanks for following us right up to the end. See you next time and Hala Madrid to us all.